Hi, everyone. Um, so uh, I'm in Baal, and I'm going to share with you a little bit of uh, what my company, Weapons Group, is doing. So, Weppers Group is a company that is uh, a performance marketing-based uh, uh, company. What we do is we deliver high-value users to mobile and online businesses. We've been doing that for over a decade. Our power parent company is traded in the London uh, Stock Exchange, and our story is all about growth and diversification. So along the years, we have diversified onto additional verticals and geographies, starting off from a very uh, specific niche and now working in a few verticals from games to personal finance, actually having customers such as uh, uh, Chase or uh, Capital One. Now, we are very diversified also in the way that uh, our company works with the people. We have 50% of our uh, company, uh, or of our employees that are women, and uh, have 15 language speakers within the same office in Tel Aviv. We believe that this diversification has allowed us to grow and has brought the innovative spirit that has led us to grow from 100 people just five years ago to 400 today, and to expand into 20 geographies with offices in the US and in Asia. Now, how do we do it? So, in a nutshell, it's all about the combination of tech, data, and content that actually allows us to draw the most valuable users and to connect them to online businesses who are, which are our partners. And this is an example of how we do it. One of our major sectors in the last couple of years, or the fastest growing uh, uh, sector in Weppel's group, has been personal finance. Now, if we take as an example one of the personal finance uh, uh, websites, content websites, that we own and operate in Canada called Greedy Rates, I would like to show you how we actually put in action the combination of tech, content, and data in order to produce the most relevant users which eventually benefit our partners and in return deliver the highest revenue. So in this case, when we uh, um, took over uh, Greedy Rates, because that was an acquisition that we actually uh, did, and migrated it onto our uh, tech stack, onto our content management system, we decided to create a calculator, a tool that will allow you to select the best credit card to suit your needs, according to all sorts of different preferences you may have as a consumer in the Canadian credit card market. So, first of all, once you enter the site and enter this uh, uh, selector, we would ask you whether you are interested in a personal credit card, in a or you are a college student that is interested in a credit card, or a, a business owner. Assuming that uh, you actually want a card for your own personal needs, then we would ask you how you would actually want to go about the payment or the credit of this card. Whether you want to pay every month, keep a balance, or actually re-establish credit. In this case, our user chose that he uh, would like to be able to transfer uh, or to keep a, a balance. In which case, we would want to understand what is the most critical uh, feature for him, whether it's the low interest rate or actually the low balance transfer rate, because he would like to uh, transfer a balance from a different credit card that he owns currently. 
given that indeed the uh, desire of our user is to actually uh, perform a balance transfer uh, transaction, we would uh, allow him to choose additional parameters and features in order to uh, make sure that we actually tailor the most relevant offer for him or her when we offer the options of a new credit card to acquire or to register to. And this is the list. So he or she would get a list of relevant credit cards that uh, relate exactly to the parameters that they have entered onto our calculator, which obviously means that the uh, probability they would actually convert and would actually uh, apply for that specific card are probably high. And they can see all the relevant uh, uh, features uh, uh, and parameters of uh, the different cards uh, that we offer in order to choose one of those. Now at this point, once they actually apply and go on to the website of Capital One or American Express or whichever of uh, uh, the relevant uh, uh, credit card issuer, we would add a pixel to actually also uh, be able to uh, uh, identify them. Which leads us to the second part of this combination that we offer to our partners that allows us to actually tailor the relevant offer to the different users, which is content. So, Content, obviously, is something that is very specific, or could be very specific to a certain uh, uh, trend, to something that's actually going on, you know, whether it's the Israeli election, or uh, if I uh, look at uh, uh, my uh, latest addiction, which is Netflix. So, you know, uh, uh, seeing the most popular or uh, uh, the trending uh, uh, content uh, on Netflix, that's something that we make sure to uh, uh, be able to also cater to. So, you know, if it's uh, the vacation season, we would want to uh, offer our users with the uh, uh, relevant uh, uh, reward credit cards. And if it's a uh, holiday season, uh, uh, then uh, we would want to uh, uh, offer them uh, uh, the uh, cashback uh, credit cards. So these are the kind of... Uh, um, I would say, uh, trend-based or uh, seasonality-based uh, content that we would want to offer. However, there's obviously another layer, a layer of actually tailoring the specific content to the relevant segments to make sure that they get the offer that best suits their preferences, their needs. So if I go back to Netflix, you know, when I see uh, an offer or a category of uh, a binge-worthy uh, a crime TV series, I go, okay, they are starting to know me. And then when I see a category of European uh, TV series featuring a strong uh, female lead, I really think that they get me and, and the probability of me actually consuming that content is very high. So same goes here. So this is what we try to do, to actually create the relevant content for uh, uh, the specific uh, uh, users. In this case, this is our user that actually went onto uh, his Facebook feed. And given the fact that we know him and know that he has a probability of, of actually uh, uh, consuming or uh, applying to a, a balance transfer uh, uh, content uh, uh, related uh, uh, offer, we would offer them or him exactly that. So he would see um, a relevant message on his Facebook feed to uh, refer him to an article that uh, speaks about keeping the balance, exactly what uh, he needs at this point. Now, this tech combined with data will also drive me to offer new offers to the same users once they get back onto my website. Because if I know that a customer has a, or wants to a, a, 
uh, transfer is balanced, this may uh, indicate that his uh, credit score is probably low. So I'm assuming he may also need a loan. And I'm able to actually reacquire him for new offers or for new uh, relevant uh, uh, products once he onboards my uh, website again. And this is what it's all about. Constantly analyzing the different preferences, demographics, activity and behavior of the users on our site and externally where we have the data in order to be able to offer them the most relevant content once they return. So we make sure that you don't see the same article over and over again, but rather be able to actually see the relevant content that you would probably be interested in, and that would probably lead you also to, uh, at a certain point, uh, uh, go and acquire the product that we would offer you. And you know, eventually, it's, it's obviously all about the numbers, so uh, in, in this case, what you can see is that uh, the events or the actual uh, customers that went and applied for a credit card uh, following this new calculator that we added to our uh, site increased dramatically. We, uh, in fact, had a 30% increase in uh, revenue as a result of this new tool embedded within our site which is exactly where technology uh, and uh, uh, data go into action. If I look at the story of uh, WebPal's uh, uh, finance, so over the last couple of years, we've been able to uh, increase the uh, revenue from our uh, personal finance uh, activity uh, by over 200%. 212% to be exact. That is true on the one hand, some M&As, but uh, predominantly via uh, um, increasing uh, our, uh, uh, the revenues from our existing uh, websites, as well as enhancing our acquisitions and being able to uh, buy media in a very smart way onto uh, these assets. In terms of organic traffic, we've been able to increase organic uh, traffic year over year by uh, 30%. So this is exactly what we are trying to create and replicate along the different um, verticals that we operate in to get this combination of tech, data, and content to perfectly match and create value for our customers. Thank you.